WEAF New York, 8.30 p.m. B-U-L-O-V-A, Bulliver Watch Time. See the 21 Jewel President. Pack of Avalon cigarettes, please. Yes, sir. Just a moment, sir. Don't forget your change. You'd never guess, but Avalon's cost you less. So why not always travel on with Avalon? Good evening, friends. Good evening. This is Del King saying welcome to Avalon Time, featuring radio's red-headed ragamuffin Richard Red Skelton with Dick Todd, Edna Stilwell, Bud Hercules Vandover, the Avalon Chorus, and Bob Strong and his orchestra opening the program with Cheer, Cheer, Bean. people are learning it's no longer necessary to pay popular prices for cigarettes to get popular price cigarette quality. Avalons are as fine a cigarette as money can buy. In fact, you couldn't get finer quality tobaccos in any other cigarette, regardless of price, regardless of brand. And still, union-made Avalons cost three to five cents less per pack than other popular price brands. Three to five cents less, mind you. And that's a very worthwhile saving. Friends, it's needless to pay more for your cigarettes. Switch to Avalon's and save the difference. And now, ladies and gentlemen, with only 12 days till Christmas, I give you a man who would rather give than receive, a man who always gives everyone a present, Red Skelton. Thank you, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) Say, isn't it wonderful how everybody got into the Christmas spirit? You know, I'll never forget last Christmas Eve. I went out for a walk in the snow, and all of a sudden, I was hit by an automobile. On Christmas Eve? No, in the safety zone. (laughs) But the girl was, it was a lady driver, but she had plenty of Christmas spirit. She jumped out of the car, and she says, gee, you're the first man I ever ran over. May I have your autograph? Well, that's what I call Christmas spirit. Oh, that ain't nothing. You should have seen the ambulance that pulled up. It was drawn by six reindeers. <laughs> and the doctor hopped out. And he was all dressed up like Santa Claus with a long white beard and a hypodermic in each hand. <laughs> he took one look at me and he says, Well, little man, what will you have for Christmas? A broken arm or a fractured skull? <laughs> I says, Two new writers. <clears throat> the... Uh... <laughs> Then he crammed me down in the bag and he rushed me off to the hospital and he dropped me down in the chimney, see? And that hospital, what a jolly place that was. The Merry Christmas Dead by New Year's Hospital. (laughs) Weren't you frightened, Red? (laughs) No, everybody was in the holiday mood. One of the nurses fixed me a very lovely drink, a surgical cocktail. 
It was a can of ether with a cherry in it. <laughs> and was it strong? I looked in, and the cherry was holding its nose. <laughs> and while I was waiting, I told a few jokes, and after the second one, they started preparing chloroform. How'd that get in there? <laughs> and the doctor, oh, what a guy he was. He was a jitterbug. While I was on the table, he kept singing, shoot the tonsils to me, John. <laughs> I said, now, wait a minute, Doc. Why don't you fix my arm? My arm's what's broke. He says, I'm sorry, but we're pushing appendicitis this week. <laughs> I said, all right, then take out my appendix. It's killing me. He says, you'll have to wait until midnight. We can't open anything till Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody's in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> I ask you. Oh, Dick Todd, ladies and gentlemen, our singing star. What are you gonna sing, Dick? After all. Oh, that's from your one of your new recordings, isn't it? <laughs> Strictly off the record, though, folks. Sing, Dick. <laughs> Such a lovely star We built all our homes And dreams to the sky And never thought That they could all be lost In one goodbye After all does it matter who's to blame? Memories call, but they only fan the flame. Can we find our heaven where we let it fall? And be sweethearts. After all Can we find our heaven where we let it fall And be sweethearts after all That was very nice, Dick And you know, I'm sure Santa Claus is going to remember you this year <laughs> oh, I don't know I didn't get anything in my stocking last Christmas. Well, is it my fault if you don't take them off before you go to bed? <laughs> Mr. Skelton. Oh, what is it, Miss Stilwell? Is it true you're going to dress up like Santa Claus and sing Christmas carols on street corners? Yeah, Edna, and I'm really going to look like Kris Kringle. I'm going to stuff a big pillow in the front of my trousers. If you're going to sing, you better stuff it in the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Edna, now that's a nice way to talk to Santa Claus. Uh, I don't believe in Santa Claus. No? Well, suppose a nice old man with white whiskers would come up to your house on New Year's, I mean Christmas Eve, and gave you a mink coat. Would you believe in Santa Claus? I wouldn't believe in him, but I'd keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Edna, I don't know how you can talk that way. Have you forgotten what I gave you last uh, Christmas? Oh, no, Mr. Skelton. That was a beautiful diamond ring you gave me. Yeah. And I'll never forget how I cried yeah. when the installment collector took it back. Yeah. <laughs> Well, is it my fault if you don't keep the payments up? <laughs> oh, come in. Now, who that is? Well, excuse me, is Mr. Skelton here? Oh, yes, I'm Red Skelton. What is it, Tom? Well, I got a note for you from Miss Stillwell's brother, Roger. Oh, thanks a lot. Thank you. Say, I've never seen you around here before. Who are you? Well, you know Mr. Betty's valet at Rochester? Yeah. Well, I'm his brother's connected. <laughs> Oh, really? I didn't know Rochester had a brother. One? Ooh. We've got lots of them. Yeah? Yeah, there's Buffalo, Syracuse, Albuquerque, Cicero, all points east. <laughs> well, 
people say, how come you've never been on the radio? Well, Mr. Skelton, there's so many good people on the air. What chance have you and I got? Yeah. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> say, I may be able to use you on this program. I'll put your name in my little black book. <clears throat> say, how do you spell Schenectady? Schenectady? Yeah. Well, uh, see, Schenectady. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, Schenectady. Start with the S. Yeah, it starts with the yeah, S. Yeah, start with the S. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. How am I doing so far? You're on the right track, but you're dragging your heels a little. Well, so it is, you know. Then there, let, let's see. Then there's a B. No, that won't fit. No, no. No, no it can't no, use no, no B. There. There can't be no B. There. No. Well, uh, so it is. C of uh, well, my middle name's Troy. Yeah. <laughs> well, all right, Schenectady. I'll tell you. I'll let you know if I need you. You're working for <laughs> Roger, eh? Yeah, I help him when he's working on that typewriting machine. Well, do you type? No, I'm the carbon paper. Oh. Well, I'll have to keep him in mind. Oh, Bob Strong, have you got a number handy? Sure, Red, and I know you're going to like it. Why? It's the Donkey Serenade. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Bob Strong and his orchestra playing the Donkey Serenade, and any similarity between the title and people on this program is purely coincidental. Play, Bob. <laughs> gentlemen, have you heard this exercise and keep fit radio program? Well, I tuned in on it this morning and the calisthenics instructor said, good morning, folks. <laughs> now let's start off with our breathing exercise. Inhale and exhale as I count. One, two, one, two, one, two. Now don't that make you feel better? That increases your chest expand. Now everyone switch to Avalon. That decreases your cigarette expand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, friends. Avalon cigarettes do reduce your cigarette expense as much as one-third. You see, Avalon's cost three to five cents less per pack than other popular price brands. A very worthwhile saving, too. But without knowing the price, you'd never guess they cost you less. They're guaranteed highest quality. Truly, friends, you have so much to gain, why not give Avalon's a trial tonight? Well, Del, you really gave out on that one. <laughs> Mr. Skelton? Yes? What was that note you got from my brother? Well, don't spread this around, but I'm giving a surprise uh, party on Christmas for the whole cast. You eh? are? Yeah, now, your brother Roger is sending over here a caterer from the Stable Build Hotel. The Stable Build? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a horrible place. What are you talking about? Their food's great. You can get a wonderful meal there for 30 cents. 40 with medical attention. <laughs> and you're going to have them arrange your menu? Yeah, that's probably the fellow now. Come in. Well, I'm glad to see you. Well, are you the caterer from the stable bill? Well, I ain't a dose of bicarbonate from the Roaring Twenties. <laughs> 
Thank you, Lees. I didn't know you were a caterer. Oh, my goodness, yes, Mr. Skelton. Why, I brought some samples of food over. You did? Why, just try this. This is Chateau Brianna Vec, Pouma de Terre a la Indigestion. <laughs> Goodness, what's that? Meatballs. <laughs> no, I think I'd rather sample the soup. Oh, you'll be just crazy about our soup, Kitty. <laughs> just soak your lips in one of these pots here. Yeah, I'll, I'll try this one over here. Ooh, my, my, you sound like a suction pump. <laughs> now, which soup did you sample? The tomato soup or pea soup? I don't know, it tastes like soap. Oh, that's the pea soup. <laughs> the tomato soup tastes like coal oil. <laughs> Well, I think we can eliminate the soup from the menu, right? Okay, stuff. <laughs> uh, would you like to try some of this corned beef hash here? Well, uh, why not? My insurance is all paid up. <laughs> Wait a minute, Herky. What's in this corned beef hash? Well, it might be corned beef. It happened to us once before. <laughs> Herky, I'll bet you $10 this is horse meat. No bet. I never went on a horse in my life. <laughs> Well, come on, dip this stuff away from me. It's leaking. Say, how can you cook in those pans? They got holes in them. What'd you say? I say, your, your pans have holes in them. Goodness, no wonder I feel a terrible draft. <laughs> now, how about topping off this wonderful meal with our special tea? Yeah. It's imported from the wilds of Cicero. Is it good? Oh, it's a good way. It's mellow, Gate. Just try some. <laughs> All right, you little old jitterbug. I'll try some. <laughs> <coughs> Herky, yes? I'm an expert on tea, and I can tell you just where you, this stuff came from. Well, where, Marty? It's dishwater right out of somebody's sink. <laughs> yeah, but who? <laughs> well, don't worry, Mr. Skelton. I'll have a nice menu for you. Yes? Well, I gotta go now. I'm arranging a dinner tonight for the Chicago University football team. Yeah, what are you gonna serve, Herky? Oh, the same diet they've had all season. Who well, say? So long, Nancy. <laughs> Shadows are falling He's at even time And I am recalling When you were by my side Red skies in the night Are a shepherd's delight Red skies in the night Bring vision of you Vision of you Alone by a stream Where the meadows are green All I do is dream When the long day And my heart keeps saying, Sweetheart, come back again. A shepherd's delight, yet I'm lonely and blue. Red skies in the night bring a vision of. course singing Red Skies in the Night. Oh, I love those songs about the great outdoors. Ah, there's something about the woods that gets under your skin. Yeah, mosquito bites. Yeah. <laughs> ah, but Dick, there's something about the woods that makes you forget about mosquito bites. Yeah, snake bites. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but there's something about snake bites that gets under your woods. Now work your way out of that one, wise guy. <laughs> And now we come to our slice of life, a short playlet about things that really happen. You set the scene, Del. Okay, Red. Tonight's slice of life shows the average married couple on a shopping tour. The wife, played by Edna Stilwell, is going to buy her husband a whole new outfit. The husband is played by Red Skelton, radio's fashion plate, slightly cracked. <laughs> <laughs> 
Come along, darling. Yeah. This is your day, oh. and I'm going to buy you a whole new outfit for oh, Christmas. Gee. And you don't have to worry about a thing. No? This is on me. Oh. Give me your pay envelope. Yeah. <laughs> Why, darling, you took it out of my wallet last night. Don't you remember when you got your fingers caught in the mouse trap? Ah, 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 ah. There was 15 cents missing. Yeah. What'd you do with the 15 cents? Oh, I don't know. I guess I'm just a playboy. <laughs> Well, never mind. This is your day, mm. and I'm going to buy you a whole new outfit. Gee, I'm Here, mean... let's go into Mangles. Yeah, Mangles? That's a ladies' store, isn't it? Oh, well, all right. We'll go in this other store and get your suit of clothes. Yeah. The one you're wearing's horrible. What's the matter with this suit? Gee, well, maybe the pants do droop a little. Droop a little? Yeah. You could sweep the sidewalk with those things. <laughs> now, wait a minute, dear. Hey, let's go in here. This is just the kind of clothes I like. Ye old sloppy, drapey, shoppy. No, we're going into a regular department store. Now, come on. This is your day. My day, my day. Who am I, Mrs. Roosevelt? <laughs> come along. I'm going to buy you everything you need from head to foot. Mm. Information? Yes, madam. Where are the ladies' dresses? Look, look, darling. I'm not wearing ladies' dresses this season. They make me look too matronly. <laughs> Say, don't you think I ought to get a hat first? Why, of course. Mm. Right at this counter, honey. Yeah. Uh, clerk, we want to look at a nice hat. Uh, yes, madam. For your husband or something a little better? Oh, something. <laughs> oh, darling. Look at those lovely lipsticks over there. My day. <laughs> what shades do you carry in this lipstick, clerk? We have three shades, madam. Blushing Bride, Cherry Red, and Spank Baby. <laughs> Spank baby lipstick? Now that's going to the extreme. May I see the spank baby? Uh, certainly. Miss Brown, would you bring over the spank baby? Yes, sir. Here it is. <laughs> there it is. Spank baby red. How do you like it? Oh, it looks good, but it fades awful fast. <laughs> Now, listen, mister, we've had 50 customers today and the kids fagged out. <laughs> All right, I'll take that lipstick. Look, darling, how about my hat? Remember, this is supposed to be my day? Oh, of course. Well, you go on over and buy a hat, but nothing too expensive. Yeah. I'll be over here by the mink coats. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm alone at last. Let's see, I'm going to get a hat. Oh, clerk, let me look at a nice hat, will uh, you? Yes, sir. We have a bargain in Grand Pianos today. No, no, I just want a hat. Uh, how about a nice shotgun? We have a special on them. With every shotgun, we give away a trousseau. <laughs> no, I just want a hat. What you need, sir, is a pair of cotton gloves. Oh, wait a Did you know that you can get rid of dishwater hands by sleeping in cotton gloves? No, I like pajamas. <laughs> yes, sir. What color? Brown. No, I want a hat. Of slacks. Latest thing from Miami. You don't need suspenders with these slacks. They fit right over your shoulders. Look, I had a pair of those last season and I didn't like them. They're too dangerous. Dangerous? Yeah, I nearly got my nose caught in a zipper. <laughs> now, let's see. All I want to do is to get a hat. And then to get one, what have I got to do? Write the president of the store? That's an idea. Where's the stationery department? Hey, you by the door. Are you, you keep stationery here? No. No, I'm on the go all the time. <laughs> Where are you? In men's hats? No, I'm in ladies' petticoats. <laughs> well, get out of them and come over here. <laughs> Darling, I've got a new coat, shoes, stockings, a hat, and a string of pearls. Well, I guess we've got everything. Shall we go home? Look, dear, I don't like to bring this up, but if this is my day, it, st it smells. <laughs> I'm glad you reminded me. I've got to get some perfume. Yeah. Look, wait a minute. I'll get the perfume. perfume. <laughs> you go on over and get me a gray hat. Yes, dear, a go gray ahead. hat. Yeah. Look, fella, I'd like to have some um, eau de cologne. What? Uh, cologne. Cologne. Greetings, Gate. Let's fumigate. <laughs> Not that kind of cologne. Smell water. Here I am, dear. <laughs> Did you get me the gray hat, dear? No, dear, they didn't have gray. So I got myself two dresses. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> two dresses? For goodness sake, I can't even get a simple thing like a hat. Here you are, bud. I got uh, just the suit you want. Uh, One of our latest models with the built-in chest. <laughs> 
It has a vitamin D woven into the cloth. Now, look, I wear my suits. I don't eat them. <laughs> what a lovely suit. Mildew green with yellow stripes. Yeah, I wouldn't have it if I had a whistle and a Lone Ranger's gun with it. <laughs> Try it on, dear. Oh, I don't want a suit. Now, look, I've stood about all I can. Don't anybody understand me around here? All I want's a hat. H-A-T, a hat. I'm sorry, folks. But all I wanted was a hat. Well, why didn't you say so right this way? Hmm. You mean I can actually get a hat here? Why, certainly. Oh. Now, uh, how do you like this nice gray model? Oh, gee, I swell. You're building earmuffs there. Just what I wanted. Wrap it up, will you? Yeah. What's that? 530. Clear the store, please. Sorry, buddy. Give me that hat back. Why? No sales after 5.30. You wouldn't dare. Friends, if you live in a city or state which has recently imposed additional cigarette taxes, don't just grumble about your increased cigarette cost. Do something about it. Switch to Avalon cigarettes and save yourself that tax money. You see, Avalon's cost three to five cents less per pack than other popular price brands. That brings your cigarette cost down to pre-tax prices. Friends, it pays you to switch to Avalon cigarettes no matter where you live because they give you unsurpassed quality plus real money-saving economy. Why not give them a trial tonight? up another program. Say, Edna, come on, I'll drive you home in my car. Your car? Yeah. Let's see. August, September, October, November. Yes, it's your car. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's the use? Good night, everybody. I'll see you next week. Goodbye now. Well, friends, we hope you've enjoyed our show and be with us next Wednesday night at the same time when the Brown and Williamson Tobacco Corporation again presents Avalon Time. This is Del King speaking, reminding you that during the week when you ask for Avalon cigarettes... Don't forget your change. So why not always travel on with Avalon? Yes, you'd never guess, but Avalon's cost only 10 cents, plus city or state tax. Pipe smokers, attention. Sir Walter Raleigh is the largest selling pipe tobacco in the Army, in the Navy, on American college campuses. In fact, everywhere you find men who know quality smoking. And there's a mighty good reason. Sir Walter Raleigh is the quality pipe tobacco of America. Gentlemen, smoke the best. Sir Walter Raleigh. 
And here's a mighty fine Christmas gift suggestion. A big one-pound Christmas vacuum-sealed tin of Sir Walter Raleigh. A gift any pipe smoker will greatly appreciate. This is the National Broadcasting Company. W-E-A-F, New York. 